Let's have a look at the anatomy of an exponential expression. An exponential expression often looks like this. This 5 down here is known as our base, and this 3 is the exponent. If I were to multiply that out, that's essentially saying I'm taking three 5s and multiplying them all together. And the answer to that is 125. If we write some expression that looks like this, now we've changed things up a little bit. We still have a base, and that's the 5, and only the 5, not the 2. We still have an exponent, but now we have a coefficient. I would write this out as, I'm going to write my coefficient first, because that is not taken to the power of 3, and then 3 5s. Which ends up being 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. 5 cubed is 125 times that by 2, we've got 250. Let's look at a couple of mistakes and pitfalls that people often hit when they're looking at exponential expressions. First of all, let's look at this pair. At first glance, the only real differences though are those brackets. But those brackets make a huge difference in how it's evaluated. On this first one, the one without the brackets, it's only the 5 that's squared, not the negative sign. So if I write that out, it looks like a minus, because that's out front, and then two fives. My answer is minus 25. On the second one, that exponent applies to everything that's inside the brackets. I would rewrite that one as minus 5 times minus 5, which gives me an answer of 25. So what happens if you're taking something to the power of 0? It's really not that complicated. Anything to the power of 0 equals 1. What do I mean? 5 to the power of 0 equals 1. 7 to the power of 0 equals 1. 245 to the power of 0 equals 1. It even works with variables. x to the power of 0 equals 1. 5xyz to the power of 0 equals 1. Doesn't matter what's inside the base. If the power is 0, the answer is 1.